Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. This is Pastor Wiggins. I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Our God is alive. He is not dead. He's alive forevermore. And because he is the life-giving king, we have life eternally and life more abundantly. And so I'm excited today. I hope you feel the joy in my heart. I hope you feel the joy in my spirit because in the presence of the Lord is fullness of joy. And at his right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. And so we're praying through the Psalms as we come to day number 29. We've been praying through the Psalms the last 28 days and the last couple of days. We specifically have been walking through Psalm 23. And today we're going to walk through Psalm 23 and we're going to take a look at verse five, verse five of Psalm 23 from the New King James Version of the Word of God. Here's what it says. You prepare, you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Amen. Uh, first day we were praying through Psalm 23. We pray for God's protection. Or excuse me, God's provision. Day number two and from verse four, we prayed for God's protection. And today we want to pray for God's prosperity in the lives of his people. I want to pray for God's prosperity in your life. God has no problem with us enjoying his prosperity. He just wants to make sure that we stay in love with him and not in love with the prospering. For the real love of money is the root of all evil. But God told us to love him with all of our heart, all of our mind, and all of our soul, and to love our neighbors as ourselves. So God has no problem prospering us today. So let's pray for his prosperity in your life and in the lives of his people. Let's pray. Father, you have been our shepherd, and we shall not want. Lord, you make us to lie down in green pastures. You lead us beside still waters. Lord, you restore our souls. You lead us in paths of righteousness for your namesake. And we thank you for your provision. Lord, yes, we walk through valleys of shadows of death, danger, and destruction. But Lord God, we fear no evil because you are with us. Lord, your rod and your staff, they comfort us. And for that, O oh God, we thank you for your protection. And Lord, we declare today with the psalmist, you prepare a table before us in the presence of our enemies. You anoint our heads with oil and you cause our cups to run over. So Lord, today we pray for your preparation for our prosperity. Lord, I pray that you would prepare everyone up under the sound of my voice for the prosperity that you want to believe that you want to bring to them. Lord, the psalmist said that you prepare a table before him in the presence of his enemies. You said that you may, he said you made his cup run over. Lord, as you prepare us, prepare our financial mindsets for prosperity. Teach us your word concerning finances. Teach us how to manage your money and your resources. Teach us how to budget. Teach us how to give. Teach us how to save. Teach us how to pay off our debts. And teach us how to live within our means. Prepare our minds financially. Lord, prepare our hands and our, and our arms and, our, and our, our, our bodies to work and to work as if working under you. That we might have some fruit from our labor. Prepare our young people. Prepare their hearts and prepare their minds and their muscles for, for a life of working and working unto you. Lord, we pray for your preparations for prosperity. Give us dreams and visions for companies and goals and, and ideas and thoughts and, and hopes, God, that we might pursue them with a passion. And then, God, we pray for the power to get wealth. You said the power to get wealth comes from you. So, Lord, I pray that not only would you prepare us, but you would give us the power to prosper. Give us the strength to get up to go to work each day. Give us the strength to dig to deal with struggles and strains and strife each day. Give us the strength to overcome hurdles and to, to make it back from setback. Give us the strength, Lord, to deal with opposition without um, being oppositional and without being offensive. Give us the strength, O oh God, to deal with people who are difficult, but it may be helpful for us to have to grow and develop. Give us the strength, O oh God, to even deal with our own weakness. 
that when we get ready to quit and give up the towel, remind us that you are preparing a table before us in the presence of our enemies. Lord, let not us let us not be discouraged and be be upset that our enemies are still present with us because you can prosper us even in their presence. And Lord God, I pray that then you would not only prepare and, and empower us, but but you would literally provide the prosperity. Lord, as we sit at the table, as we wait for you to pour into our cups, let us be found waiting joyfully. Let us be found waiting thankfully. Let us be found waiting with grateful and heart in hearts that are worshiping unto you. And Lord, as you fill our cups, as you cause them to overflow, Lord, as our cup runs over, Lord, let us be mindful that there are others who don't have as much as we do. Help us to be mindful, God, that there are others who are less fortunate than we are. Help us to be mindful, God, that when you give us overflow, that is not for us to overindulge, but that is for us to look over into another life and see how we might be able to be a blessing unto them. Lord, let us live up under the anointing that allows us to love you with all of our heart, mind, and soul, and to love our neighbors as ourselves. Lord, as you cause our cup to run over, let us be reminded, God, that you are the one that gave us the power to get wealth. You are the one that prepared us for this place of prosperity. And let us never, Lord, fall more in love with what you provide than you as the provider. We give you praise and honor and glory for your people today. We give you praise, honor, and glory for their prosperity. And we believe victory in their lives now. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Again, we prayed from Psalm 25, or excuse me, Psalm 23, verse 5. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Share the channel with somebody today. Subscribe to the channel. We're coming to the close of our walking through the Psalms. I hope this prayer series is a blessing to you. And we're going to be praying again tomorrow. It be his will, be God's will. And we'll be closing out the series. Again, I pray for you each and every day. I hope these are a blessing to you. We'll be back tomorrow to pray with you and pray for you. Be victorious. God bless.